Hello, it's Mrs. Sager again. Um, this time we're going to talk about how to obtain a sterile specimen from a um, Foley catheter. All right, so uh, first of all, I want to show you, um, whenever you put a catheter in, or if somebody has a catheter, you want to make sure that you put uh, what we call a leg band on the person. And that leg band simply um, makes it so that the Foley is not tugging uh, whenever they move. Um, it, on a mannequin, it's just going to slide because of the plastic guys. But on a person, it would actually stay. And as you can see, it's just a band that goes around the leg of the person. See? Like this. It goes around, and you can connect it with Velcro so that it stays in place. And then this is just... Um, Everyone, every facility has a different one, so it's going to look a little different each time. But it's just to secure that uh, fully in place. And what you do is you just make it snug and secure and uh, Velcro it on, and that just keeps the uh, Foley from tugging and causing trauma in, within the bladder, okay? So that's a leg band. Now, um, in order to obtain a sterile specimen, we're not actually, actually going to use the urine that's in the bag because even though it's a closed system, that urine, we don't know how long it's been sitting there. And as urine sits there, it grows um, excuse me, it grows germs, microbes. So we don't want to use that urine. We want to use the urine that's closest to the body. That's the fresher uh, stuff that's come out of the body. So what we do is um, we, we have an order for obtaining a, a, a urine from a Foley catheter. So what we do is we actually clamp the uh, the catheter tubing below this port. This is our extraction port right here. Each one's going to look different. There's new ones out now that actually have uh, a port that you don't have to use uh, a needle for. This one, um, unfortunately, has a needle uh, system. Most uh, facilities are in a needleless system now, so you'll just screw on and, and extract. But for this, um, what we want to do is we want to clamp below this and what that does is it allows the urine to collect within this here, okay? Now when we clamp this, uh, we go in prior to obtaining the specimen. Um, let's say we go in 15 minutes before we want to do the specimen and we clamp it and we come back in 15 minutes and we look to make sure that there's adequate urine there. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't want to clamp it and then forget about it because that urine is backing up in the person. It can be causing pain, um, and it's not going to give us the urine that we want because it's going to be building um, uh, germs while it's sitting there. So uh, clamp it and, and set an alarm on your phone. I don't care. Make sure you don't forget to go back and obtain the urine, okay? So what we want to do is we need to have a specimen cup in order to put the urine in, okay? You don't want to be touching inside inside of the lid. You don't want to be doing that, okay? You want to keep this as clean as possible. It's not a sterile procedure, people. It's just clean, okay? So, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have an overbed table to work with, okay? And you want to put your supplies on it. And you need a specimen cup, an alcohol pad, and either your needle with a syringe or just your syringe if it's a needleless system. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is a needle system, I'm going to take my alcohol and I'm going to clean my extraction port. Okay, I'm going to clean it really well. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to stick it into this port. And it's just a See, my needle goes right in. It's, it's made to do that. It's impermeable. I think that's what the name of it is. And then you just draw back. This needle's really small, guys, so it's going to be hard. You draw back the urine. And see, I'm collecting all the urine that was in here, okay? See, all the urine is gone from this point. And then I'm going to put it into my specimen cup. Don't put this down on the table because now you've just entered mo microbes in there. Okay, put your urine in there. You're not going to get a whole lot here, people, remember, okay? Because it's just what was in the catheter itself. Okay, you would put this in the sharps and then you're going to cap it 
and then as per the policy of your uh, of your facility, don't recap like I just did, guys. Um, um, you're going to label this for specimen um, with the name, the date, the time, the room number, the doctor, um, and any instructions for the lab. Now, this may be a simple handwriting, or it may be um, like some facilities have a scanned system where you scan their band and it prints out uh, a lab sticker and then you just put it right on here and then the lab knows exactly what to do by that order that's in the computer. And then that gets sent to the lab and that's how you do a um, catheter, uh, no excuse me, a urine specimen from a Foley catheter.